The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit of the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, you and I have to be very much thorough in considering what you as a pastor have to speak. The present active imperative of the verb, lalao in Titus 2, 1, to communicate. And it refers to the pastoral function of gap. The active voice, which means to say, only a prepared pastor teacher can do it. Because the present tense is linear action sought, and we keep on doing it, and the imperative mode, it is an order. It is an order that we need to go upon in a day-by-day -day process. The active voice, prepared pastor teacher, can do it. The present tense, a linear action sort, which meant to say it is a continuous action. We keep on doing it till to the last breath on this earth. And the imperative mood is what? It is an order, order, order. Therefore, we find in Titus 2.1, present active imperative of the verb, la leo, which meant to say to continue. Present tense, you need to do it by preparing yourself. Active voice, it is you. And the linear action sort, keep on doing it. And what is the imperative mode? It is a command, an order. And do, which has been used, prolaptive pronoun, which places emphasis on the ministry of Titus. Titus has been given the gift of a pastor teacher. And Titus has been used as a troubleshooter. And you and only you can crack out. That's what in whichever state you are, whichever position you are, whichever church you are. You and only you are capable of understanding the apostasy over there. You and only you are capable of realizing the reality of the truth over there. You and only you are capable of understanding the great emphasis of the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit to you. And the things which has been used refer to the full content of the Bible doctrine which became the present active indicative of an imperative, impersonal verb, which is meant to say prepia. Or prepia simply is an impersonal verb, which means proper, suitable, or fitting. In other words, crank it out so that it is proper, fitting to sound doctrine. So it refers to the full content of the Bible, the things. And which makes sound, the word sound is used in the present active participle, used as an object, adjective, which gives a great strength. The actual verb here is hugeano, which meant to say, to be healthy, to be sound, to be correct, to be accurate. The doctrine that we're communicating, is it healthy, is it sound, is it correct or accurate? The command given by Apostle Paul to Titus is to do this. You use it in the present active imperative mode, the place of the content of pure Bible doctrine for the ministry of Titus. It has been told you communicate which is sound, hugiano, to be healthy, to be sound, to be correct, to be, co to be accurate. And the doctrine that has been used, didascalia, means the content of the message. The one who cranks it out is didasco, the pastor teacher. But today, many of the people are not aware of the simple Greek words. The linear action sought, if not the imperative mode, the indicative mode, the full content of the Bible. And why aren't they aware? Because they are not capable of receiving it. Neither they have that capacity to be received in their soul. That is why they are not capable of understanding the simple dogmatical truths in their life. Rather than becoming a full proof of their ministry by giving from Genesis 1 1 to Revelation 20 to 21 the entire content of the Bible, they are happy in doing those things which they think they are right with the Lord, but the Bible says, until and unless you go on with the exegesis, isogogical, categorical explanation of the word through the dispensing technique of dispensations, you are nowhere right, you are nowhere correct. Why? Because Paul had such kind of a training in his lesson. 
because the true witnesses of Paul has been recorded by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through the mentor ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit in the Bible. The Paul ministry is what has been lacking today in our churches. The Paul ministry of Ephesians, of Acts chapter 20 verses 26 and 27 and 28 has been lacking. The Paul ministry of reason when he wrote in Ephesians 4, 11 through 15, why he has given some pastors, some teachers, and some evangelists, apostles and prophets, they have done their work to the edification of the body of Christ. The pastors and teachers, that is what pastor, hyphen, teacher, no, the, the pertaining to the hyphen, which is a copulated conjunction, pastor, hyphen, teacher. In fact, even the Grand Village Sharp Rule tells And he wants to go on communicating to the point the things that he spoke in Titus 2 1. Speak, 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 laleo, communicate, communicate, communicate. You, that is what Titus, you have the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher. The things referring to the full content of the Bible, which makes sound, that is what healthy, accurate, correct. And pertaining to the sound, healthy, doctrine, teaching, teaching, teaching. The full content of the message, you need to crank it out, dear brethren. That is what Apostle Paul has been told for us to do it, through Titus. If Paul has been told to Titus, and then Paul has written in Ephesians, for each and every church-age believer who has been given the bona fide gift of a pastor-teacher, then the bona fide gift of a pastor-teacher also have to follow the same rule which has been given to Titus. That time you couldn't have the completed canon, but we do now have the completed canon in our hands. And we need to be so gracious unto our Lord that Lord has sent us in the right time to this earth that we have been given into our hands the own translations in our own vernacular languages as well, the Bible. And we do not worry whether we are accuring it or not, because Lord, when you desire for the right thing, Lord will provide you that great true pastor teachers who shall inculcate for you with the truth through the inculcation of body of Bible doctrine. With their bona fide gift, they will get you down from the original language of the scriptures through isagogical, categorical, exegetical explanation of the word, through the dispensing technique of dispensations. Do you know why? Because it is really Lord's work. And Lord cannot compromise with cheap substitutes. Lord cannot compromise with the dead works. Lord cannot leave behind those things which you think that is absolutely great. The Lord wants a right thing to be done in a right way. A right thing done in a wrong way is wrong in the sight of the Lord. A wrong thing done in a, in a wrong way is absolutely wrong. A wrong thing done in a right way is also absolutely wrong. The Lord demands a right thing to be done in a right way and there is no excuse for it. It doesn't compromise when you're going away from the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher. If you're a male believer alone, never for a female this bona fide gift has been given so that she could be called as a reverend or a bishop. If she has been called as a gift of having a pastor teacher, it is better for her to go and check out her organs, whether they have stopped with the minister's system or what. And if those organs have been replaced like a male one, then she's having a bona fide gift. And it doesn't, then ask her to be subjection to the pastor and subjection to the husband in our own home. And she wants to have some communication, let her have over the woman and the Sunday school children, but not over authority to have over the men. These are the words which Bible recorded for us long back. When Timothy was been written in First Timothy, he tells the way those women are raging around. So Paul writes and tells to them, women should not have authority over the men. And there are morons who come to the point of understanding in the book of Galatians to tell that no difference between male and female that refers to the unique spiritual life that doesn't refer to the communicational gifts. Bible does not contrary to itself. To the word it has been told and the word it has not been told, it doesn't go. Bible teaches to the point in one realm. The harmonical principle doesn't go in that manner. Live of the harmonical principle, the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, when it has not been done to the proper exegesis, it doesn't teach to you in that method. It demands to you to know accurately. That's why the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher to inculcate a great work, a great command, a great reality. That we need to know him. We need to love him. The unique spiritual life is a common to both male and female. It cannot vary. This true use of I dedicated for us. This true use of I given for us. 
the true mystery doctrine which has been hidden and now been revealed for us. And the great work of an injunction which Apostle Paul gives to those hearers under his care, Titus, Tychicus, Timothy, Apopadiphus. They were men, not women. So that you can think what you're doing is right, your ministry is right. And you can make a woman to have authority over the men against the Bible. When we are having so many divisions among ourselves itself, when we are communicating the word, and when we have such kind of a differences to the truth, when you will come to the point of realization of understanding Bible doctrine, dear brethren, as number one priority. Never you will come if you ignore the truth. Never you will learn if you subject to the principalities of your own physical lust patterns in this earth. Never you will come to know the reality of Bible doctrine as number one. To fear his word. To fear him. And if you fear the Lord, you will really know what is the bona fide gift only given to a male deliverer. And why is it not been given to a woman? And why woman is not been allowed at all to have this bona fide gift to have authority over the men? You have your woman fellowship? You can. Children in Sunday school? You can. Not to have authority over the men. And we cannot go contrary towards Bible doctrine, though you make your head down and legs up. And you walk upon your head, not upon by the things pertaining to Christ with the word of the Lord. Dear brethren, it is of a great truth that you and I have to note. The greater the negligence of the full content of doctrine to be communicated, greater will be a failure in our life that we are not capable of understanding the truth of the reality of the word. Dear brethren, ponder over these things. If you have a bona fide gift of a pastor teacher, we shall continue with the next day. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that God give the Holy Spirit will in these things and make it as a blessing and talent sovereign, Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.